and look at the process of life. Look at like every, you know, when as we're, as fall is coming, the leaves begin to dry and change colors and they fall off the trees and eventually they per perish and they turn to dust and they're gone. So, and look at the, the rest of the things that's happening continuously is the cycles of the, the turn of the seasons that, that spring comes and it's everything opens up and everything is fresh and the aroma of the flowers and the vegetation and the fact the sun is shining and, and it's getting warm and nice and uh, everything is growing and everything is flourishing and every the nature is really like happy. So it's like the birth and then it comes to summer and then it comes to fall and again the cycle is repeating itself and things kind of going into hibernation and the leaves are falling. So it's the, the death of the, the cycle comes to the end of it and then it goes into the winter and it's really like, okay, it's, it's a little bit darker, uh, the days are shorter, it's cold, it's, you know, you don't see much of the sun. Uh, some areas is covered with snow you know it's just it's just so natural of this expansion and contraction that is happening and um, and the way I see it is consciousness the supreme soul the awareness the being of um, supreme supreme soul the one that is here the boss life god is continuously through these different bodies is experiencing life i mean pay attention that let's say in the course of the life that you've been living and let's say you have been alive for anything from 20 years to 90 years of just I'm referring to our participants here, our listeners from whatever age, just so let's say on average, if you're 40 years old, how much you've learned in 40 years? Look how much, how many, or 50 years or 30 years or 20 years, look how many experiences you have had that how much stuff you've learned about yourself, about your relationships, about the world, about things, about technology, about your f food you eat, um, the way your body functions, the both, e everything. And so it's, it's an evolutionary process of continuously learning new things and, and evolving. And naturally, you know, you get to a point that, oops, I lost my screen, sorry. I'm gonna, uh, Amir, can you see me? Because I don't know if, okay, there, there is, I don't know what happens, so I lost my, my I screen. I see you, yeah. Yeah, okay, so things disappear. So this is definitely one of those weird technological day that uh, technology is not really cooperating or is co cooperating halfway. So to me is like the grand spirit um, as continuously people being born and continuously pe people are dying naturally is like every time a, a child is being born, someone coming to this life and is new and they're experiencing everything fresh. Now let's say a, a, a newborn child for the first time is, is having sun, sun, seeing the sun, having sun light coming, pouring in to his or her bedroom and experiencing the power of the sunshine. 
and how exciting it is and looking at colors and everything is so fresh and you're taking your seven-year-old in an airplane and and you're flying with her from one town to another and the seven-year-old for the first time is experiencing being in an airplane and how exciting that is or you're taking them to an area that there is snow and they're experiencing snow or you're taking them to Caribbeans and they're seeing the turquoise water and they're seeing fish and when you have children or you're around uh, people that they haven't seen or experienced something for the first time uh, even though when I was in Sedona Arizona and you guys came to Sedona and I got it I got to see some parts of Sedona with fresh eyes because I got used to seeing it the way it is and having you there I noticed things I wouldn't notice normally so it's fresh so I the way I see it is that the supreme soul the one life one one being that keeps manufacturing itself keeps renewing itself through new people being born, new babies coming to life, is experiencing life brand new every time. And also in this process of death, of dying, I don't see anything wrong with it. How beautiful it is. It's the way we're looking at life and death our mentality of our bringing, the way they've conditioned us is, the, in my opinion, is regimented and it's wrong. Rather than as we're getting older, as we're getting closer to transit, instead of celebrating this transition, instead of looking at it that this is graduation, of looking at it that we're going, we're evolving, and I'm entering into my new era. Rather than having this deep fear of I'm going to be isolated and isolated and miscommunicated when I die, and I'm going to be in this dark place without anybody around, is, is completely ridiculous in my point of view of why would existence want to create such such a thing when everything else in life when you're living is so amazing and furthermore is like wouldn't you imagine that when it comes to your final moments of death when finally the ego is ready to let go and and there's nothing else you can do your technology your medicine your family your money nothing can help you any longer and you're completely powerless and there's nothing you can do to extend your life and finally, there's the death of the ego. There's the death of this belief system that I'm separated from everything else. And that is going to die. And you're in your final moments of this transition. And all of a sudden, in this moments that you're transiting to the afterlife, you get to realize the meaning of life. You get to understand what the whole thing was about, which was almost impossible to understand it prior to that, because you have to get to this point. You have to come to your transition.